Hello, everyone. Hello. All right. We have another activity here for our letter S. For our letter S, we are doing squishy painting. Okay. Squishy painting or squish painting. I think squish painting sounds better. Squish painting. All right. Squish painting is a nice way to get um, a sensory activity without having to get too messy. Okay. So we're going to be able to get the feeling of uh, sensory experience feeling on our fingers by getting uh, pushing and kind of the melting aspect of paint or, or just pushing, spreading it around, squish, squish and spread of a paint feeling without having to actually get our hands dirty. All right, so it's a fun activity. Again, since we are using paint, just wanna be careful, keep the space um, you know, clean and just aware that paint still might get you know, pushed around accidentally. Okay, but it should be mess-free, a mess-free way to get a, a nice sensory experience here and just the artistic, self-expressive, creative aspects of painting, drawing, um, art, creativity. Okay, so let's take a look what we're gonna do. All right, so we have a piece of paper here. We have plastic wrap. And we have some paint. Okay, so I'm gonna take my different colors of paint and I'm just gonna stay away from the edges because I want to not have it spill over the sides. I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of paint in different places. Okay, I'm gonna do it with my different colors of paint. So here's a little green. And if you have a squeeze bottle, that might even be easier. Okay, here's blue. Okay, let's get some paint on here. Okay, green, blue, red. And I'm using a Q-tip, so you know it's it's a little bit harder. But if you have like a paint brush, or if, again, if you have that squirt bottle, you can just squirt some paint on there, and that's a nice way to keep your fingers cleaner and make sure that you're not getting any paint on you. Okay, and my last color is yellow. All right, and so what we're doing is just getting some different drops of colors, um, paint on our paper. Okay, and I'm keeping it more towards the middle just so we can avoid the outside parts just to not spill this on our table. All right, so we get some paint. I'm using the Q-tip. Remember, you can do it without the Q-tip. You can do it um, with a paint brush or a popsicle stick and that might be a little bit easier of a way to prevent any mess, All right? So we wanna get our piece of plastic wrap. It's gonna cover our page here. And rip it. Okay, then what we're gonna do, and you can put this on a, on a notepad so that you have something to push it down on if you want, um, or you can just put it right on top and we just lay it right on our page, okay? And all we're gonna be doing is using our fingers to push and spread this paint, all right? So this is a, a pretty nice feeling of pushing and spreading the, the paint, right? And you can tape this on if you want so that it doesn't move, um, you know, wrap it around the, pa the paper if you like, 
that'll make it a little bit easier to not move. But we're gonna be taking it off at the end. So you wanna make sure that it's still accessible to get off. Okay, so using our fingers just to push and spread this paint. So it's a way to really feel that underneath the plastic wrap, feel it through the plastic wrap, right? Each part of the paint, you can feel as you're spreading it. You can feel that, that paint thinning, squishing, and spreading. Okay, so it's a nice way to um, get that experience into the fingers without having to get the fingers right on the paint. Okay, so, and if you set this up for your student, child, then it can really be completely mess free. Right, I was just using a small Q-tip, right? My Q-tips were half size Q-tips, so that's why my fingers were still getting a little bit of paint. But if you're using a full size Q-tip, or if you're using a paintbrush or a popsicle stick, then you can totally avoid any kind of mess at all. Right, so here we stayed away from the sides, and I'm just spreading. Okay. Maybe I wanna try to do some kind of design here. I'm gonna try to make a circle. And the other way. Okay. Here I want to use my nail. Okay, maybe with my nail I wanna make a letter D. For Daniel. And D for my last name. All right, so you can use your nail to draw some finger drawing. Oops, can you see? Okay, so our letter D here. All right, maybe I want to make a smiley face. Maybe over here I want to make a heart. And over here, I want to make another smiley. So now you can really push it around, get it in all different directions. Oops, let me just not mess up my letters. Where did I make that letter D? Okay, and we're pushing, right? Our squish painting, squish, squash painting, squish painting. So, and then once we're ready, here's the tricky part, is we wanna get this off carefully so that we don't make a mess. So if one hand is holding our paint down, and of course with help, this is easier. I right, wanna start folding this in. So look at what I'm doing here, I'm rolling this inward. I'm rolling it inward. So as I'm taking it off, I'm rolling it inward as well. Rolling it in, rolling it in, rolling it in. And then this way, by the time I have it all, the whole mess is contained in here. Okay, if we wanted to, right? So, and this becomes our painting that we can leave to dry. Okay, so you see my smiley face, my heart, my D in the yellow is a, a little bit hard to see, but there it is. Okay, so it becomes just an interesting way of painting. But if we wanted to, we could take another piece of paper and even to leave this to dry on that piece of paper, see what kind of art it makes on its own. So let me pull one more piece of paper here. All right, so I, I did take it off and rolled it up. So it might be a little bit harder if you do this without rolling it up, just take it off and move it to a different surface. Um, or even leaving it on there to, to leave it to dry could be an interesting kind of a thing. All right, so let me see if we'll be able to save it. Okay, again, some of these videos, you're learning from my mistakes. So we'll see if this is gonna be another one. Okay, so um, you know what, since I rolled it, it's probably gonna be on both sides. See. let's see if I can transfer it so this this might not be the best method of transferring um, 
you know, once you pull it off, if you want to just take it off, then rolling it up the way that I did would be great. If you don't want to roll it up to dispose of it, you can just take it clean off, straight off, and maybe move it to another surface to be to see how it will be on there. Okay, so here, if we unroll it, and, it, and of course with help, again, it might be a little easier. And I, I wish I could pull this down a little, but it is working. So just slowly unrolling it is what I'm doing. Um, but again, you can do this without rolling it up in the first place. So slowly unrolling it. And it kind of looks like pretty cool art just from here as well. Okay, let's see if we can open it. Hey, there we go. Opening here. And this might be the extent of how much I can open it. I don't want to make a mess by going over the sides, over the edges. Let me see how much I can get. Without going over. Okay, so maybe I'll all it here. All right, so we can even transfer this paint. Oops. Okay, and get it onto another piece of paper. So, you know, have a, a whole different piece of paper as well. So you could do this with multiple pieces of paper because the paper, the paint will get onto the plastic wrap. So I can even leave this here. I can put it down to the sides and just let this one dry like this, or I could pull it off as well um, and just see what is going to be left underneath, right? Push it down, and if I pull it off, then there's a whole different design that's going to be on this piece of paper. So you can use it multiple times. You can leave the plastic wrap on so that it has a plastic wrap kind of a appeal, kind of a look, and it'll dry with it. It'll dry with the plastic wrap. So it's gonna look pretty interesting. Or if you reuse it and you wanna take it off, again, you can try that rolling method just by rolling it into each other, into itself that is. And Rolling it in, rolling it in, rolling it in. And that way the mess, the paint is contained in here. Okay. And we can just throw it out. And here we have a whole other picture now. And now you have two paintings for the price of one. Okay, so, you know, using one and using another. If you don't have plastic wrap, you can always do it with two pieces of paper. Take a piece of paper, put paint spots on it, put another piece of paper on top, and squish through the paper, okay? And same thing, when you pull those papers apart, see what kind of paper designs you could make. Our squish painting. So, um, you know, I might even be able to do one more. I don't know, should I go for one more? There's still a, a good amount of paint here. So let me give it a try, do one more. So we have a nice paint here, okay? Let me do one more for you. Sorry, loud noise. Oh, not bad. Okay. Another piece of paper. I'm gonna put it down right on top. And now here, I'm pushing with my fingers, and again, I can feel the paint spreading and squishing. Okay, so just spreading it, spreading it along. Right, getting that spreading, squishing experience into my hands and fingers. And when I pull them apart, we have more 
pictures and paint. And it's just kind of a abstract style of painting, but I don't know, it looks kind of cool. I, I kind of like it. So using our plastic wrap, we're just using our paper, our squish painting. All right, so try it at home. It's, it can be a mess-free way. Again, learn from, from my mistakes of how you take that wrap off if you're gonna use it again. Um, if you're gonna be using that plastic wrap again, you know, just being aware of, of what you're doing, what your plan is, and knowing that it is paint and it could get messy. So maybe you wanna have some newspaper underneath or something to keep everything clean. But otherwise, not too bad. And it becomes our squish painting. All right, so try it at home if you'd like. And I hope you enjoy it. It's kind of a cool one, right? This one kind of looks like a abstract like butterfly with a, a yellow heart in the middle or I don't even know when you move it closer it doesn't look like a heart actually it looks like I don't know some, something interesting right so it's cool it's it's like an expressive creative way to do some painting and get that experience of pushing with your fingers all right our squish painting all right so try yours at home and let me know how it goes. All right, everyone. Hope you enjoy. Thank you so much.